Diana from Adirondack Girl at Heart. I teach antique and vintage lovers how to create successful antique businesses that they'll love. One of the ways I do that is through these videos here on YouTube where I share my recent vintage finds. Today our focus is going to be on vintage. That is items from the last half century of the 20th century. <laughs> Let's get started, okay? I picked up a few ceramic pieces recently. Here's a pair of restaurant wear mugs. They are by the Syracuse China Company. There's the mark on the bottom. You see O P Co. That stands for Onondaga Pottery Company, which is was the earlier name of Syracuse China. These are super heavy and I'm kind of in love with them so I might be keeping them <laughs> but if I was gonna sell them I would price them about five or six dollars now I have two ceramic pieces that came from a, um, a ceramic class the way you can tell that is when the bottom is completely glazed like this piece and then often people will etch their initials into the bottom like this maker did. This is PS. And um, I typically would not buy pieces that someone made in a ceramic class, but I really thought this was beautiful. And I might try to sell it on Facebook Marketplace. I might put it in my booth, even though it's not really a farmhouse style piece, but I'm thinking I paid $3 for it and I will price it in the 20 to $25 range. And then this piece I picked up because it's a flower frog shaped like an apple, a green apple. And it was 50 cents and I think it's worth probably 14 to 15 or maybe even $18 on Etsy where I sell a lot of flower frogs. In fact, this week I sold two, a glass, a clear glass uh, frog made in France and a blue ceramic one. I encourage you to try selling them there. Now I have a bunch of glass. How about this piece? $3 for this unusual crackle glass. Um, you could use it as a vase, but I think it's a drinking glass and it's made by Pilgrim, which made a lot of hand blown crackle glass. Underneath this label is a rough ponto mark and that's how you know it was hand blown. Nice smooth rim and uh, it should sell for about 15 to $20. Piece of milk glass, <laughs> milk glass does not sell well for me um, or anybody else, I think, unless you price it really, really low. This piece though is by Westmoreland Glass and that's uh, an embossed mark, a W over a C. I'm not sure if you can see that there. Um, it was half off of $1.99 and I like to use the vases myself. Um, flowers look beautiful in white vases so I guess my thinking is I'm gonna hang on to my milk glass until the price until the value increases I have an entire um, blog post and video all about milk glass that I'll link to and also a price guide and an article on my website about crackle glass and the same for frogs flower frogs I'll link to all those below so while we're talking about glasses, aren't those cool? I, that aqua blue is really something with this um, embossed design. I picked up five of them. They were $2.50 for the five, and I think they should sell on eBay for $25 to $30. Same with this set of green. There were four of these in a set. They actually came in their original cardboard packaging, which calls them Groovy, Groovy Coronet Double Coolers by Federal Glassware. So I would um, sell sell them with this with this packaging. I think twenty five to thirty dollars. I just I thought the fact that the Groovy was in the name was pretty interesting. <laughs> 
this was just fascinated me, this sort of tiki. You see these, it's smaller, right, in glassware um, or wooden um, tiki figures like this that would have been sold from a bar. Um, I'm not sure what the story is behind this. Probably had some kind of a lid. It was 25% uh, off of $3, so it was $2.25 and I think it should sell for about $20, $20, 20 to $25. Love this candle holder. Wish I had the, the other one to make a pair. Um, I'm sure this is probably by some Danish uh, designer from the 1960s and hopefully it would bring 20 to $25 on eBay. Here's a pair of Coca-Cola salt and pepper shakers. They were a dollar and they should bring about 10. Now a couple pieces of Pyrex. This bowl was a dollar at a garage sale. This is the larger bowl of the four bowl set and it should sell for about 20 to 25 dollars. It's in really really good shape. There's a couple spots where it's a little bit worn. I am going to um, clean it before I sell it. I have an article on my website, a price guide and a cleaning guide for Pyrex. And then I picked up a few Pyrex bowls. I have the mugs that go with this, that match this. I may try to put them all together in a bundle, but they were um, 50 cents each and each one is probably worth about five or six dollars. That's it for the glass. And while we're on aqua, oh my gosh, look at that. I, I ha actually already have this alarm clock, but it doesn't work. And this alarm clock works. And it is a West Clocks, made in USA. And I will price that about 20 to $25 on Etsy. Two Christmas ornaments. This is all plastic with this little elf and I think he would sell on eBay or Etsy for about $12 and uh, of course I fell in love with a pine cone because that's my my logo is a pine cone it was 50 cents and this one was a dollar it's a Hallmark 1988 and you can't you can't really see them, but that's Thomas the Train right there. And you plug this into a light on your tree and it'll make Thomas go around. Now I haven't tested it yet. But if it works, I think it will sell for about $15, probably on, on Etsy is where I would sell that. And the last two finds, two of my favorite. Oh my gosh, look at that. Is that amazing? It holds two thermoses, which I'm not gonna take out. The thermoses aren't that exciting. They're blue, light blue, and then in the center is a metal box for cheese and crackers, or I don't know. I don't know what the plan was on that, but uh, really good shape. Got it at a neighborhood garage sale, or a town-wide garage sale. It was a dollar, and I think it's worth about I'm gonna say 40 to $50. Here's a couple of pieces of um, vintage jewelry that I wanted to show you. This is a pretty enamelware pin. I have an entire article all about this type of jewelry that I will link to. This is perfect for 4th of July, of course, with the red, white, and blue. It cost 50 cents and it's worth about 10 to $12. And then also a 50 cents from the same garage sale is this charm bracelet. It's filled with animals. Um, there's a donkey and a cat and a rabbit and a poodle and another poodle and another cat. And they all have little rhinestone eyes. This one has a jelly belly. I mean, these are um, quintessential mid-century, 1960s, 1970s, and it should sell on Etsy for about 25, about 25 or $30, possibly more. I sell 
I've sold quite a few charm bracelets recently, Victorian sterling silver in the hundreds of dollars. Um, I just sold a bracelet with the smooth stones, the tumbled stones, and that one sold for about 30, 30 something, 31, 32. So they are definitely popular. Here's the last piece I wanted to show you. It's an ice bucket shaped like a piece of ice made out of lucite. And then it has these ice tong handle on it. How cool is that? <laughs> Do I sound like the barefoot Contessa? How cool is that? Um, it was 25% off of four, so it was $3, and I think on eBay it should bring, I do need to do the research. My guess is going to be something really high, like $75 to $100. It's really unique, nice piece. Let me know in the comments if you agree. Do you like that? Would you have bought it? I hope you enjoyed seeing my vintage finds today. I would love it if you give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. And as always, happy hunting. Thank you.